if you're looking and listening to this channel, then you have an interest in photography, especially how to communicate feelings, emotions, and ideas. Apart from music, I think photography is probably the most powerful, commonly available manner in which we share stories. A picture can be just a representation of what is in front of the photographer, but a photograph that communicates something beneath its surface can be like a poem. I knew at 12 years old that I was going to become a photographer, even though I didn't have any idea what that meant or which particular field I wanted to specialize in. Portraits, pack shots, or fashion. I just wanted to decipher how the images had been crafted. At the age of 16, I'd worked for a few years at a bookstore and bought a second-hand SLR called a Fujika SD701. That camera didn't go on to become a classic, but to me, it seemed like a passport to my future. By the time I finished school, photography was still my only career choice, but my parents wanted me to get a proper job, so I studied geology and statistics. It took a little wrangling to get out of the corporate commitments that I had, but I made a clean break and started at the absolute bottom of the newspaper hierarchy. My first job was photographing houses for the property section, which basically entailed getting the pool and the house in the same frame. Thirty-something years later, I've traveled to over 50 countries on assignments and have had my photographs published in major publications all over the world. I can truthfully say that even when I've exhibited at some art cathedral or while I've been photographing royalty or rock stars, it's never occurred to me that I've made it as a photographer or I'm a success. I don't think anyone really knows what those terms mean. For me, it's always been a bit surprising and absolutely exhilarating to find that people connect with my work. For me, it's a miracle that I've been able to delay growing up and getting a proper job. I found as a photographer that you are given extraordinary access to aspects of life that are otherwise off limits. Who else would be allowed to wander around some famous person's house and tell them where to stand or getting invited into some sacred ritual? It can be so unnatural and sometimes overwhelming to shift from a hotel room into a highly intimate space or into a battle zone. This is such a huge privilege, but it comes with responsibilities as well. Photographers are so often given an opportunity to peek beneath the polite persona of others, and it demands that one is aware of one's own code of being and integrity. I'm no techno junkie, so generally if I need to know something, I hang around those guys that you find in camera shops because they, they do things like read manuals and learn about stuff I don't know anything about. I have, however, learned a lot about how to convert looking and seeing into photographs. So even though I won't be able to tell you which lens to buy, I hope that through this channel I'll be able to pass on some ideas about appreciating and deciphering photographs. On a practical level, I think I'll be able to shed some light on storytelling as well as developing long-term assignments or projects. I'll also be taking a look at various assignments that I've been on and how some have succeeded while others uh, not so much. My assignment photography has always been location-based, so I don't work in a studio and I've never used an assistant. My brief has almost always been along the lines of, OK, Graham, go here and take good pictures. That's pretty much the brief. In general, I found that the time involved in taking the actual photographs is just a small fraction of what is involved in completing the whole job. So often I'm researcher, fixer, photographer, but mostly motivator, I'd say. So this channel, I hope to explore beneath the surface of photography, looking at all the factors that enhance our ability to communicate through images. If you take a look at my video channel, you'll see there are two main sections. The photographic conversations are in-depth looks into a particular subject, normally around 20 minutes. The other section is photo day. These are two to three minute videos that you can watch on the move. They are short dives into a particular photograph, why the photograph works on all levels, and a little bit of background information about the photographer and the circumstances under which the photograph was taken. So I hope you'll interact with me going forward as we delve into this mysterious realm. Is it over yet? Yes, it is good. It really is. What are they? Well...
and find out what the future holds in store. Is it over yet? <laughs>